a lot of people don't stick around to watch the end of the video. So I really wanted to open with the ending. So here we go. I really wanted to thank every single person who watched one of my videos or, or quested with me or radiated with me or sent me any kind of wonderful uplifting messages or showed me any kind of kindness over the years. You guys have got literally no idea how helpful all of these interactions have been and how much they've helped me. Understanding time can be really difficult. Unfortunately, there's no lessons from Chromie this time. Understanding time is like trying to understand the ocean whilst trying to learn to swim. On many days, you're just grinding, or you're just helping a friend level up, or you're just making pots, or you're just mining. You're doing fairly ordinary things. And it's really not easy to appreciate the overall picture of what's going on. In a lot of ways, we made our own fun, because there wasn't always that much content to be getting on with. I remember running Black Rock Dep, trying to get that trinket with a really low drop rate, <laughs> or running Blackwing Spire, trying to get that trinket with a terrible drop rate. Or even running Molten Core, trying to get those bindings that never seem to drop. Let's just take a look at Warcraft overall. Many players have spent weeks or months, perhaps even years in Azeroth. I've personally spent three and a half months playing continuously, logged into my main character. And about 80% of this time was spent at level 60. So this got me thinking, if Warcraft was a full-time job in the UK, paying about £9 an hour, <laughs> I would be £22,680 richer, or in dollars that's over $32,000. I've been thinking about the last time. The last time we'll ever kill Ragnaros or Chromagus or Nefarian or even Rock. <laughs> Why did he never drop my trinket, even rock? I really wanted that Drake Fang Talisman. <laughs> Have I killed Cthoon or Uru for the last time? Or perhaps Patchwork? Am I ever going to kill Patchwork again? This really got me thinking. Life isn't about the last time. It's about the first time. Remember how incredibly proud and happy you were the first time Ragnaros died? How many wipes did it take to actually get him down? The big boss of Classic, the first one you're likely to come across. With all the fire resistance needed. It was such a huge achievement. And it isn't just a singular cheat achievement. It's something your whole guild had to commit to for a long time to farm those fire pots to get all the way to Ragnaros, and even though it seems easy today to a lot of people, remember the gear wasn't so good back then, and we really struggled. Everyone had to be part of the team that made it happen. How incredible was it when we first cleared Blackwing Lair? I mean, even clearing the egg section at the start of the instance was a bit of a challenge. And getting all the way to Nefarian, were you part of a team that helped create the Onyxia scale cloaks for everyone? but save their lives ultimately? Or were you perhaps one of the people who created a repair bot so that hunters could repair their bows and do more damage? Or how about the first time you defeated those twin emperors when you finally mastered that dance? Or what about killing Cthoon? Literally killing an old god in an incredibly gruelling dungeon, which, let's face it, probably claimed more wipes than the other dungeons combined. This is what makes Classic so great. It's for teamwork. It's that personal connection. There's no looking for group that just lets you join in with a pug. You really have to build great relationships with people, and whether that's within your guild or within other guilds. Your reputation really matters. I never did make a video about this, but I always found it amazing that there was virtually no crime in Azeroth, you know? Because 
The most important thing wasn't gaining some measly gold or an item or stealing some mats, even materials worth hundreds of gold. The important thing was your reputation. This created a real sense of community because everyone knows the value that those mats represent because if they want to get the same thing, they would have to put a lot of time and effort in. So it really became a sort of incredible merita meritocratic game. I always struggle with that word, but it really was quite an incredible experience in my view. And an experience that a lot of us hadn't really had for 15 years since we'd first played the game. And of course, there were the new players too, who got to join in with all us people enjoying our nostalgic game. Uh, you know, someone once said that they really appreciated that I left a lot of the wipes in. Of course, it is actually quite embarrassing when we wipe. It's kind of proof that someone might have dropped the ball, that something might have gone wrong. Maybe you pulled too many enemies. But still, I wanted to really show the, the trials and the struggles and the adversity because I think it really adds to the experience because we all sort of faced them. But we did incredible things when we worked as a team. We slayed dragons. We even slayed gods, for goodness sake. How incredible. So, if I had that three and a half months back, would I play classic all over again? Or would I perhaps learn to play the flute? Or perhaps write a book? Or maybe two books, who knows? World of Warcraft, with all its drama, its struggles, every single time a guild split, every time there was a big wipe and someone lost their temper, or there was some kind of drama, would I do it all again? Absolutely, in a heartbeat. WoW Classic, more than any of the expansions that came after, really felt like a game of Dungeons and Dragons. We would all log into Azeroth, and we would try to bring our best every time. And although some people weren't always able to get all of the potions or all of the equipment, we helped each other and we tried to overcome adversity. You know, it takes a huge amount of commitment to actually clear like Manax Ramus. And obviously it gets easier when we got better gear. But all of those potions, all of those potions that we shared with each other, all of that time that we invested, not just in developing our own character, but developing the community. A small community, a community of perhaps 40 people. It, it all sort of adds up. And I know there were sometimes problems, there might have been fights, people might have rage quit. But ultimately, a lot of us survived and we fought on and we advanced through boss after boss after boss getting better equipment and better drops, becoming stronger and more disciplined, and we learned to play our class better, and perhaps we even became better people, but who knows, perhaps that's going too far. Now, as many of us move into the next expansion, it's tempting to think back on all the old memories of the old dungeons with nostalgia, but there's a lot of positives to be had too from a new expansion. The new PvP system, doesn't require three months of hard work, but what it does require is still a lot of hard work, which is rewarded. It's quite democratic or meritocratic, if you will. There's new enemies to be fought, new dungeons to be conquered, new bosses to be tamed. And although I think it's an incredible shame that we won't be doing the 40 man big raids anymore, I look forward to the new 25-man raids. And perhaps the good thing about them is every person matters more. Whereas in a 40-man raid, you can sometimes fade into the background a little bit. Unless you're a warrior, because warriors are awesome. And perhaps guilds will run more runs overall, and they'll become more flexible. And the game will become a bit more casual friendly. Perhaps the mandatory raids where we would turn up will become just optional raids. Perhaps it's going to be a lot easier. But maybe... Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's really what I'm going to miss about Classic. The fact that a lot of it was really difficult. 
Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure there are people out there who just sailed through most of the content. <laughs> but then again, there's a lot of people who didn't. And I think the struggle made us stronger. I still worry about the last time that we'll ever log out of the game. Or the last time we'll ever do Ragnaros or Blackwing Lair. But ultimately, I will think back with happy memories about the first time. The first time we achieved something incredible as a team. The first time we pushed the limits of what was possible and we came out on top. I hope to make some great content going forwards. It's funny, I've already done the introduction as the ending, but I just want to reiterate, thank you so much, every single person who has helped me and helped someone, doesn't have to be me, just helping someone really can matter so much to an individual, you know? it. I, I honestly can't tell you the value of kindness. It is the most incredible attribute we have. And it's something that's free, you know? You don't have to pay to necessarily be kind. But thank you very much for listening. I won't tell you to subscribe because it's up to you, obviously. But it would be nice if you did. <laughs> thank you guys, and I'll see you in the game.